Perhaps you've seen this on YouTube. It's a mother duck and her ducklings getting blown off their feet. How can one video be both heart-wrenching and hilarious? Also, how much wind is required to blow a duck off its feet since ducks should be used to the wind because ducks fly? To find out, we ask Nick Zimmerman, Associate Professor of Animal and Avian Sciences at the University of Maryland. I have no idea what uh, wind speed would cause a cause them to blow, be blown off their feet like that, but I know why they got, they were blown off. First off, the baby ducks uh, cannot fly, and uh, secondly, the wind was coming through that op opening between the buildings uh, in two different directions. First, it was blowing really hard one way, then it went back the other way, so they were thrown off balance by the wind. Uh, secondly, the mother duck could have very easily uh, just put her head into the wind and not been affected by it at all. However, her baby ducklings who cannot fly, they don't have the wing feathers yet, um, could not fly, and she knew that, and she had that maternal instinct to stay with, with the uh, baby ducklings. So they were, blowing, they were being blown away, and then she got caught in it because she was not facing into the wind. Um, she isn't aerodynamic unless she's facing into the wind. So she caught the, the wind underneath of her feathers, and it just blew her, blew her around um, just like it did the ducklings, maybe more so because she had the feathers. So, um, you know, this sort of thing uh, just, just happens once in a while. No, no real harm done to the ducks. For Discovery News, I'm James Williams, and that's ducks blown off their feet by the wind explained.